Hello there, beautiful. Today, I'm going undercover on Reddit. I'm here to answer some of Reddit's most burning, steamy hot hair questions. And yes, I have seen GQ go undercover before on Reddit and that is where I stole the idea from. So thank you GQ for this idea. So I have my matcha latte and I'm ready to answer some questions. So let's make a Reddit account, shall we? I've actually never really used Reddit before, so this should be interesting. Okay, so we're here on Reddit. We're gonna click the sign up button. I'm gonna put my email in here and you're not gonna know what it is and we're gonna move to the next step. All right, username. How about the real Brad Mondo? And I'm gonna make a password. I am not a robot and we're gonna sign up. It's as easy as that. All right, finished. Okay, so let's search Hair, that might be a good place to start. Actually, actually, female hair advice on Reddit. That sounds like a place that I should be. We have this girl who says, hello everyone. This is my first time posting, so here it goes. I've been debating on going a wee bit red for a while now, but I'm scared to take the plunge. We'll probably do henna first to see how it suits me. What do you all think? And this is the photo of this lovely girl. Okay, so she used an app to figure out if it's, the color will look good on her or not. And basically what I'm thinking here, mm, ooh, this is interesting. Yes, you should definitely do that, okay? That is such a good idea. I feel like right now your hair, you could use the term mousy, which means like it's kind of like on the gray side. It's kind of very ashy. It's not like a rich tone what you have right now. And with the red tone, you're getting a lot of richness. You're getting a lot of depth. And I think with your skin tone, it's going to look so poppin' if you go a little bit more red. Ooh, ah, yes. Ooh, even like really deep red. Like I think that would look amazing on you. So let's comment back on this. Is this how you, is this how, is this how this works? Okay, hey sis. Her. No. Hey, girl. Um, yes, this is so good for you. The rich red color will make your skin pop and lock and drop. It's a yes from me. No, but for real, dot, 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 I'm a hairstylist and this tone will be perfect for you and will just enhance your natural beauty. That was so fun. <laughs> Perfect, let's send that off and let's keep moving. Oh my God, how fun. Ooh, here's a good one. Okay, would I be able to pull off this kind of pixie cut? Not dyeing hair to brown. Sorry if I did something wrong. This is my first time posting. Same. Okay, so here is the before picture. This is what she has right now and this is what her kind of goal is. Let's see here. Listen, I'm gonna be honest. I would say this isn't my favorite idea ever. Um, I don't believe this will be the best haircut for your face shape. I like the haircut. I just, mm, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna look a little bit too mature and mommy-ish if it isn't done perfectly correctly by a very skilled hairstylist. So I just worry about that a little bit. I honestly really like your hair long. Let's write out to her. Hi, okay. The look you have going on right now is honestly so cute. The other bowl cut style kind of haircut I think will be too mommy-ish. Is that mean? That's fine. The truth sucks. If it isn't done perfectly right. I would prefer to see you stick with the long hair and maybe bring your bangs a bit shorter. I think she would look so cute with like a little baby bang or like something just a little bit shorter than what she has. More like blunt and more serious, like a very structural bang I think would look so stunning on her. Also, play with the color. Do blue, <gasps> that'd be fun. Okay, let's post that comment. Okay, next question. Hi guys, so I just got a spiral perm and was asked to let it be for 48 hours. So they said, don't wash it for 48 hours. When that time is up, what shampoo and conditioner do you suggest along with any other products? I already am going to use the Lanza trauma treatment leave-in product, but that's all I could grab at the moment. So yeah, wow, that is quite a perm. That actually looks very natural on her and I'm very impressed. It's, I think it's cute. So there's just so many products out there that you could use. And honestly, I'm probably gonna end up recommending something that is professional and very expensive. So I might hold back on that right now, but Diva Curl, Products are awesome for curly hair. I would mainly recommend products that are, are made for curly hair, such as products that are highly moisturizing and have a bit of hold. Wash your hair 
with a hydrating shampoo and conditioner, and then start with a leave-in conditioner and a product with hold, such as Glitterati by Xmondo. <laughs> Buy at xmondohair.com. Diffuse your hair or let it air dry for the best result. It's like an infomercial here. Hope that helps. XOXO Brad Mondo. And comment. Okay, next question. Would the color on the right look good with a rooty look with a color like the left as the root color? I currently have the left color. Okay, wow, this is a lot for me. She currently has the left color on two thirds of her hair and the ends lightened and has previously been pink, but has since faded to peachy blonde. Would the color on the right <laughs> look good with a rooty look? What? <laughs> Got it, I understand now. So basically she's saying that she has the color on the left and she wants to dye the ends the color on the right. The so I'm gonna say it wouldn't be the worst thing ever, but I also don't think it's really gonna look right. If you're trying to leave the natural hair at the top and then you're dyeing the ends such a vibrant pink, purpley, lavender color, it's just not going to look right because you're gonna have kind of a dull root color and a very vibrant end color. And usually it's kind of the opposite in the way hair naturally is. Also, the lavender is a cool tone color and this warm blonde is obviously very warm. So they're kind of gonna look like they don't quite go together. Not that that's like totally wrong. I just don't think it's gonna give you the effect you're kind of looking for. It's also hard to tell because I don't have a picture of you here, so I don't really exactly know. Let's get back to this girl. Hi. <laughs> so because your natural color is so warm and and well da 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 natural. I don't think having that as your root color and the ends a vibrant lavender pink purple will look right. Lavender is a cool tone and your natural hair is very warm. Maybe do something like a vibrant red on the ends or color your entire head that dope ass lavender color. Lavender ends and a deep purple root. Kind of sickening, not gonna lie. XO, 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 XO. Brad Mondo. <laughs> Perfect. Let's get that off to her. This is so fun. Our next question says, hello everyone. I never dyed my hair and I really like this color. Do you think it would suit me? I tried Googling, but I have no idea what would suit my skin color. My face is quite reddish without makeup. Oh, I'm gonna have to say no. I hate this color. <laughs> Honestly, it reminds me of beauty school when everybody chose like the violet red color to like do the mannequin's hair with. And it always turned out this kind of like dark cherry, purple deep color with like no depth to it. Is that mean? I mean, you're such a fair toned skin girl. You do have a lot of pink in your skin, what I can see from this photo. I mean, your eyebrows are so light. Your hair is naturally so light and so beautiful. I wouldn't recommend you going dark. I'm sure you want a big change or so it seems with this photo you sent, but I don't know, man. I, I could not imagine you in that purple color. I just don't think it's gonna suit you. I really like your hair light. I think it, it's so flattering to your skin tone and I just think you look so like majestic and beautiful with that the lighter toned hair color. Hi. So you could go one or two ways, either go a deeper auburn red sort of color or keep your natural hair color as the base and add a ton of highlights. I love to see you blonde. Don't come for me. Even a copper blonde would suit you incredibly nicely. Does that make sense? Is that proper grammar? Not important. Get a girl. XOXO Bramondo. Comments. Okay, I wanted to do something like this to my hair in terms of color, but I'm not exactly sure what to ask for. I love this question because clients come in every day to the salon and don't know what the hell they're asking for. I'd like to take this moment to tell you exactly what to ask for. And honestly, this is a pretty difficult thing to ask for. Even looking at this, I'm like, oh, how would I ask for this? Not sure what you're starting off as, as your base, but I'm guessing you have dark hair and you're trying to do it something a little lighter. Somebody said, just show this picture to your stylist. And that 
is a great comment. I really like that. <laughs> but if you want to kind of further explain what you want, you're going to want to ask for your hair to be heavily balayage painted. So it's almost like a solid color. Basically what they did to achieve this look was probably paint the hair starting at the root and going down to the ends and painting nearly every piece of hair. And they probably toned it with a level seven, possibly level eight ash tone. So you can ask for that and just mention that you want an all over ash tone blonde with the roots darker. So let me write that out to you, honey. Hi, <laughs> Def, show your stylist this photo. Then if you wanna further, can't spell further, explain what you're looking for. Maybe say something along the lines of, I'm looking for a deep ash blonde all over with the root a darker brown to give me that natural grown out color look. I hope I explained that well. It, that's kind of a hard one to explain, honestly. All right, looks good to me, let's post that. Perfect, okay. I'm the girl in the middle and I wanna dye my hair blonde with a hint of pink. And I'm scared that it'll look weird with my dark features. Help. Ah! First of all, you're literally the cutest. Also, you have such gorgeous hair. Like, excuse me? Like, who are you? When? How? Mm, yeah, it's really good for you. What I'm gonna say is that hell yeah, you should do that. 100% a yes. That is such a good idea for you. And that is what's going to happen. You should definitely get your hair painted balayage style or highlighted the correct way so that it doesn't look like it's coming from your root. Like you don't want, I, I, I don't want to see you with any root color, okay? I like this darker color on you with the sort of natural highlight effect you have going on, but just enhance it a ton, add a lot more color, add some really nice face framing highlights that are really bright around your face and it'll give you that kind of all around blonde look without being all over blonde. Also, 100% do the pink. So cool. That's such an easy thing to do and it washes out if you do a really light pink. So let me write back to her. Hi. So it's gonna be a 100% percent yas from May. This is so good for you. You're already so pretty and the pink hair will just make you look so edgy and cool. Do a balayage style highlight with some bright face framing highlights in the front. Then do a light pink toner over everything. Maybe use overtone pastel pink to maintain the look. I love overtone, it's deposit only, and it's only gonna make your hair feel healthier. That's what I use in my hair to make it nice and pastel, silvery, white, so great product. Anything that doesn't involve lightening your hair, you can probably use overtone for it. And let's post that color. Be honest, does this bob suit me or do I look like a mom? I'm 16 and I've had long hair my whole life until now. No, you don't look like a mom. Are you kidding me? You look stunning. Everybody always thinks for some reason, if you have a bob, you look like a mom. It's just not true. Stop with the whole mom thing and the bob thing. It's just, they don't always have to go together, okay? I love bobs. I love short hair on young girls. I think it looks so fierce and so like mature, but not too mature for their age. I just think, I just think bobs are good for everybody. And I think long hair is not good for everybody. So putting that out there. Especially when people have finer hair, like this girl doesn't have, doesn't look like she has the most thick hair ever. And I think it really works for her. And especially with the makeup, I think it makes her look young, youthful and vibrant. So let's comment back to her. Hi, you do not look like a mom. You look hot. This is so great for you. Keep it short and don't it up. <laughs> no, it's honestly the look for you. XOXO, Brad Mondo. Comment. These are all such good questions, I don't even know what to pick, okay. Um, this will be the last and final question we answer. I went to a salon to get my hair lightened and I hate the result. I don't know what products to use to tone my hair since I have different levels of blonde. Any suggestions I could try to get a nicer shade of blonde? I just want my hair to look good while I save up for a nicer salon visit. Damn girl, I am so sorry that happened to you. This does not look good. I'm going to be honest with you, it's not good. They really kind of you over on that one. And I'm kind of disappointed in whoever did this. A little bit disappointed. That's okay. Brad Mondo is here to save your hair. There's no real easy way of fixing this yourself. 
I'm gonna be totally honest. I wish you gave me a few more angles to look at because all I can see is really the back and we're just gonna go based off that. So I see a lot of level 10 highlights, level sevens, level eights. We got ash, we got warm, we got all things going on here. We got all things going on. And what I'm gonna say is stick to something kind of in the middle of all those tones. Something like a level eight would probably be best for you to even out the entire thing. And yeah, it's going to tone down those really bright highlights. And if you have a problem with that, then I wouldn't recommend doing this. But I think if you want an all over evenly toned blonde that isn't so in your face in the back and stripey and gross, Oops, sorry, okay. Then I would recommend a level eight, like a neutral level eight or even like a natural ash level eight. I don't exactly know how what your knowledge is about hair, but like an 8NA, an 8N, anything in that range would be good for you and a demi-permanent color would be best. I would not do anything permanent. You don't need it. You don't need to lift your hair anymore. You're just, you just want to deposit tone so that next time you can get a better result. And the great thing about toner is the color will adjust the more you wash it. So, oh no, so sorry this happened to you. So not cool. I would recommend a level eight toner, either an 8N, which stands for natural, or 8NA if you want it more ash toned. It's honestly hard to recommend a person who's not a stylist what to do with their color because color is very technical. And normally I wouldn't just do an 8NA or an 8N by itself. I would mix at least three colors together, two colors together to make the exact tone that I want. But I'm trying to simplify it for this girl because you know what? She did try to go to a stylist and she did get messed up by them. So, I, I, and I think it is possible to fix this at home. So that's what I'm gonna say, an 8N or an 8NA if you want to be more ash toned. This will even out the color and bring it all to a medium blonde or a 7N slash 7NA if you want it a bit darker. Hope this helps. XOXO, Brad Motto. <laughs> oh, let's make sure we say use a demi permanent color. I can't spell post. Perfect. Okay, and that is all the time I have today for hair questions. Let's put this away. I honestly had so much fun with that. I wasn't expecting there to be such great questions on Reddit. There are so many to go through. I just picked a few of the great ones that I could find. And honestly, it was just like a row of amazing questions. So if you guys wanna see this again, give this video a like, make it known that you wanna see it again. I will totally be down to do this a million more times. And I hope some of those girls on Reddit figure out their hair situations and I hope it all goes well. Make sure you guys follow me on my social medias, Twitter and Instagram at BradMondoNYC and follow my hair care brand Xmondo Hair on Instagram. Also, you guys, I released the first episode of Brad and Eric last week, so please go check that out. And here's a little sneak peek of what happened in last week's episode. And then I said to her, oh, hey, like this is our office. Like what's going on in here? She goes, uh, this is our office. She literally was like, this is our office. We were going to sign the lease tomorrow. I am so pissed. Is, is my forehead vein popping out? No, the Botox is. Thank God for that Botox. Really? Because it would be. Want to see the rest of that episode? You can totally go see it. Please do. It'll be linked below for you and it'll be on my channel, Brad and Eric. Please subscribe. We are working really hard on really awesome behind the scenes content of my life and Eric's life. And honestly, it's really good. <laughs> so please go check it out. I greatly appreciate it. If you want to check out my new Live Your Extra Life merch, it'll be linked below also. And that is all for today. I'm done talking. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I will see you all next time. Peace.